All right, so guys, welcome back. What can I even say? I have been looking at the sunrise for about three minutes now, and I have decided to officially, for those of you that have been wondering and asking, are we going to be playing Red Dead Redemption in 2022? And the short answer to that question is absolutely, positively, yes. And for those of you that are still questioning why, considering it's been four years when we played this game, I'll explain. When I played this game a week ago, everything that was being said by John Marston about the gang and everything that kind of related to some of the past events in his life just hit completely different. Knowing what happened in RDR2, of course. I want to experience everything again. And for those of you that watched my second playthrough on Red Dead Redemption 2, I hope you can join me on the second playthrough for Red Dead Redemption 1. We don't replay games here usually. I've only done it a couple of times with certain games. But this is one that I cannot miss out on. And if there ever is a remake, which maybe there will be in a year or two, you can expect that we will be playing that as well. I have to experience this game all over again. It's, it's calling me. So without further ado, Buckle up, sit down, relax, and, um, I don't know, dude. I love this game. Let's do this. So today, sorry for the long intro, by the way. Today, we are going to meet a new character by the name of Dickens, if you guys can recall. Um, and that's one thing about this game that some of the characters were quite hilarious yeah. and very good characters, which I think it's one of the things that made this game shine aside, you know, the open world and everything, but we'll take you here to the map real, uh, real quickly, and we've got Wes Dickens right here. I actually made it a point to travel over here, because it took about five minutes, considering we don't have a camp or anything on this side of the world. Therefore, we can't fast travel, but we're here now, and uh, I'm excited. It's been like, like a week since the last episode, so hopefully the the beginning portion here is not too rough, but here we are. Hey, sir. Uh, oh, I was going to help him. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said... No, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh! 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. Dickens elixir. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? This man. Head for armadillo, friend. All right, so press L2 to draw a weapon while firing. You can aim and shoot. Uh, I can still control What is the your name, friend? John Morston. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire. Excuse How me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The baller twins, Walton's gang. I know who you are. Word sure travels fast around here. I'm a man with many connections. Spare my life, I beg of you. Good Lord! It's no Goodness gracious. No, 
I think we <laughs> we'll have to use the uh, the quick Crazy. aim assist here. What the hell happened to you, bandits? Hoodlums? The scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die. I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They see a man in a well-cut suit and this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. We must hurry! Well, this man is Our dying on me. Our makers have humor sometimes. Still, at least I met you. I don't believe it. More of the gutter snipe. Yikes! Mr. Dickens is gonna die on me. Out! I implore you to please stay on the road. Okay, okay, hold on. Dickens, stay with me. Please drive carefully. There we go. I can't trust my lightning. Is that Armadillo? Come on, hurry! Oh my God. I always get so nervous when I have to do these multitask sort of missions, especially when we've got 30 frames rocking, which doesn't make anything any easier, to be fair. Yeah, I embrace you. Christ's <laughs> sakes, man, you're gonna be fine. We're nearly there. Be into your arms. Death, I embrace you. <laughs> By the you way, need more than a doctor, my friend. Every episode from here on out is going to be a 4K. We're here. Stay with me. Oh, where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus, but if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for. Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. This guy's a scam artist, bro. General practice. Look at that. That just wounds. We'll take some time to heal while you're waiting. You could further explore the Austin. I wonder if there is like a, a town like this anywhere that's still surviving or that at least it's been preserved um, anywhere in the world. I would love to go visit it. It's freaking awesome. Howdy. Oh, they took my boy. My boy. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. <laughs> Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. Oh, she's got a big old scar. Hey, will you go look for him? I'm sick with worry. Go search for the boy by Hanging Rock. Strangers found throughout the world to have simple tasks for you to carry out these. Please, sir. Please just... Let's see, where is that? The hanging. Oh. It's on the way to the McFarland Ranch. When active, uh, the next part of each stranger's task is marked on the map. If you have already visited the location, it'll be marked with a purple question mark. Okay, so let's head over there. It's got to be that spot. And again, I don't think I've done this mission prior. Um, not in this playthrough, but just in general. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I don't recall. So, I'm excited. The hanging rock. Here we go. Come on. Hmm. Now, if we know something about these games, is that the more side or stranger missions that you do, the better the story gets. That's for sure. All right, so I think if I take a look at the map, how do I get up there? Hello? Kid? Are you anywhere here? Have the bandits got it to you? Your mother is looking for you. Just, just saying. Oh, there it is. Purple question mark. 
No. No, they didn't kill him. No freaking way. There's no way they killed that kid. It's a man's shoe. That's not a kid's shoe. No way. I refuse to believe. Did they? So we're back in Armadillo. And the woman is no longer here. I want to say that there's more to this mission than just that. We'll keep an eye on her or anybody around here that will eventually give us another stranger mission and perhaps that'll that'll help us out what just happened that was crazy that was freaking crazy we have made it to the mcfarland ranch for our next mission women and cattle mr marston I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was, sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. 
Point me in the right direction. And this is what we were talking about. The past, the history that John Marston continually keeps talking about. Now we have a better picture of what that was like whenever he speaks on that. Are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? Wow. Come on. That was deep. I don't know. Did they ever talk about his daughter? Thank um, you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. Hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're, they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. She's got no idea what we've done. How do you do, partner? Moving Whoa. its position behind the herd. Okay. Uh oh. Go. Get behind the cows in order to get them to move forward. Sorry, partner. Ain't that hard, is it? All right, here we go. Towards the pasture. Slowly sweep back and forth behind the herd to keep them moving. Come on, you stinking cows! It's gonna rain. Let's go. Giddy up. We don't have time for nonsense. Come on. There we go. Where is she? I don't even know where she's at. She's like so ahead of me. Whoa, whoa. Let's right, go. Now we're getting the hang of this. Slow it up now. There they are. That wasn't that bad. Keep going, Mr. Boston. Learning how to be a Let's farmer. Move this large herd out to the farm pasture. Oh, yeah. God. Whoa. All right, good. Come on. Back and forth behind him. Keep him out of the sight. Watch for the runner. Whoa. Oh, God. Hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Buddy's going to love this. Yeah. Where's the runner? You're doing great, Mr. Marshall. Oh, we don't have a runner yet. Okay. Keep that herd together now. Keep it tight now. You got to keep it tight. You got it tight. That went pretty smooth. <laughs> Smoother than I anticipated. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Let's get it. A hundred or oh, five bucks. Oh, I thought she gave me 120. No, she gave me five. <laughs> I have 120 in total. Oh, God. Let's go. All right, so if we go back to the ranch, I think we've got another thing we can do with her. And then we can head over to the next mission. Let's see if she's home. She should be home. It's about to rain, it seems like. I love the background music, like the atmosphere. Check back after 12 p.m. today. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians, tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle was take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. 
No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Right? It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine seeing this game with Red Dead Redemption 2 graphics? Oof. You mean just 60 FPS is fine enough for me, to be honest. You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. That would be right. one hell of a now sight. Now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. Mount your horse. I think last time when I first played this game, I mounted the wrong horse. We go. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret that sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a of dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now. I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there are few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. It's crazy to think that just... What, close to 100 years, life was so different. Actually, no, over 100 years. About 100 years. There they Nuts. are! Beauties! Come on, Mr. Marston! Rope one of them for me, Marston! Alright. Okay. Okay, I'll grab. Come on, don't be afraid of that lasso! A wild Come horse. On. Hold on, hold on. You guys can't be doing this to me. Hold on, I like this one, I like this one. Hold that damn rope, Marston! Come on, boy! Hold on, every time I do this... You gonna use that rope or not? There we go. Start the horse, Hold break it. Just mind your horse. And get on the lasso horse. That's we got it. this. Now hold on to it! Come on, man. Come on, baby. We got Come this. Down. Everything's Dad, totally fine. Come on, let's go. Take it slow now. You're doing fine. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Here we go. Show me what you got, boy. Calm yourself down, Mr. Blackie. Right. I'm already calling him Black. Yeah, he's not back. even. Yeah, Relax. Black is my other horse. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of nervous. Don't want to lose the horse. We're good. Look at that. We'll make a cowboy out of you yet. Yeah. That's a pretty horse. Mount your horse. Okay, so. He's not gonna Let leave, me is take it? you from here. You get back on your own horse. Sheesh. I think that's enough activity for an old timer like me. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's rope another one. Come on. Last one, another wild horse. Alright, maybe this is the we one. We haven't got all day. Hey. Hold on. Boy, if you're running right behind him, you're making my job twice as hard, lady. Come Let's on, go. rope one of them. You got one. There I'll we go. Him. He's a frisky one. Oh, Dude, yes. Oh, whoa. He's there for the taking. Come on. 
on now. Easy. Whoa, dude, what the frick was that? Played with them. I'm in trouble here. Nearly there. Relax. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> that freaking horse dropped me over, bro. You're mine now. Oh, shit. Relax. That's good. Got him, baby. Look at that. Pure and natural. Nice work. What is I wrong with you people? Let's get back to the you know I could have fallen off that horse and broken my back. Come on. Right, Bonnie? Whoa. This lady, bro. I yeah. swear. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses have been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No rest for the wicked. Let's see if we can track down that other herd of horses. Company Bonnie's a meeting place. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> you must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. Anyways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. That's crazy how they referenced everything that happened in RDR2. And this was done before that. That's so wild. That was done to the team. Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there. What are these guys doing here? Are they supposed to be following me? Oh yeah, this is the, the, that was the mini place. I got scared for a second. Can't trust anybody around here, man. Now right, the herd is up ahead. Dude, the background Wait, music is so awesome. And don't let those horses out of your sight. Right you are, miss. Everybody behave. No, no, no. Woo. You have to go the other way, guys. Come on. Don't be silly now. Follow the rules here. Slow down. Slow. Oh, God. Woo. All right, so far, so good. Whoa, there. Come on. Oh, these two want to leave. That's unacceptable. Hey. The canyon's over there. All right, good. That went pretty smooth. Whoa, whoa. Looks like we got the lot of them. What magnificent animals they are. Whoa. Hey, the lot is getting away. Chase him down and bring him back. I got Come this. On. You know who I am. I'm the master of lassoing stallions. Come on. Hold on, just a little bit, a little bit too far. Oh god, that is embarrassing. Oh my god, I just. God damn it, Blackie. How dare you? 
disrespect me. Bro, please don't. I wonder what happens if he if he uh if I lose him. Come on, easy up now. Hey, that's a badass horse, man. Step, uh, the next step is solo horse braking is to stop the horse press and hold RB to stop oh he wasn't doing anything so we got him come on come on nearly got you come on we got this relax now relax now perfect nearly there Everything's under control. I'm in trouble here. No! You've got to be kidding me. Come over here, you stinking horse. Look at that. That's it. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Consi co co consistency and perseverance. Get get out of here. You run away from me. Get out of here. When I needed you the most, how dare you? Let's go. This might just be my new horse. Just kidding. If not, then I'll just I'll just steal it. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know. Why don't you keep that stallion as your own? As a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. There it is. He's a fine animal. I actually forgot we, we would keep the, the horse, honestly. Is it better than mine, though? I don't know. I will name him or her Vanilla Cream. Sorry, that, that's, yeah. that's inappropriate. That's, that's, that's not inappropriate. What am I saying? All right, we're back in Armadillo. And there seems to be a stranger mission here. Actually, hold on. Before this horse decides to act all crazy on me. Come on. There's a mission right there, but I think I need to complete the main mission in order to do that stranger mission right there. Let me see. Can I climb through here? Mister, she's gone. Who is? My wife. She's gone. She went out picking mushrooms in the hills near Hanging Rock, and they got her. The stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? Oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so that's not the, his wife is not the same lady that we helped with her son. So here we are. Oh, more bones and blood. Wait, don't 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 go anywhere. Oh no, it's leaving. Oh, that's a freaking arm. <laughs> that's a whole fucking arm, bro. American appetite's complete. All right, we're back in Armadillo. We've got Dickens over there, which should be already healed up, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and see what the marshal has in stores for us, and then we'll go to Dickens. Spare the rod. <laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Hmm. Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. Right now, I need another gun. 
Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. See, it's when he think when he says things like that, you're like, it's true. And then you kind of picture it, like what happened before in RDR2. It's awesome. Hey, wait up! Let's hit the breeze, boys. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. <laughs> if only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Look, vultures. I see him. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. <laughs> Must get the area. Yeah. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Well, that's a new gun for me now. Eh, the repeater. You have acquired a new weapon in the same category as your already own. Check the weapons tab on the pause menu and select the new weapon. Uh, mm. Let's go. Let's go. We'll head for Ridgewood Farm. See if they know anything. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just more plain eat. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. There's some more vultures I can see there. more vultures up ahead. All right, let's go check it out. Investigate the yeah. area. Anybody out there? Just two dead, three, four, three dead. Man, four dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. The scumbags must still be around. Come on. Hmm. Sorry, boys. Come on, let's ride. The cat got too far. Sons of bitches! Didn't you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? The Ridgewood Farm. Anywhere. That's right. This ain't right. All right, boys. Let's have a look around. Shed's clear, Marshal. Got some blood, but it's clear, all right. All right, we're gonna search this other area back here. Another little shed. This reminds me of like uh, in the beginning of RDR2 when you go looking for uh, when you find this chick that they kill her husband. 
uh, Mrs. Adler. No one here. Sadie Adler. All right. Join Marshall Johnson at the barn. Let me take my horse then. Come on. There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. Break that door down. The rest of you, get your guns ready. You boys ready? Last one. That's fucking sad. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> That's it. Your cover's been blown, bitch. No, oh, this guy upstairs is gonna kill me, man. Now what are you gonna do? Hold on. There's medicine in your satchel. Bam! Bam! Let's go. Y'all want some more? Suckers. Hold on, let me loot the bodies because you guys got little jobs and shit. I'm broke. I'm a loner. I gotta loot the, the bodies for some money at least. I gotta get something out of this. You guys just ain't paying me enough. Why can't I loot the bodies? Damn you. Alright, hold on. Don't stick your head up, partner. You still alive? Yee-hoo! another guy right here. Oh. Don't you look at this. Got that place locked out. Oh, the music is so fucking cool, dude. Careful! I might push one! What the hell was that? Time to swap out for the revolver. Let me just make sure that there's nothing here I'm missing. Probably have missed a couple of things, but just in case. You got anything interesting, friend? You and me gonna have ourselves some fun. We're gonna be all right. Head for the shed in the back You're as soon right, as it looks ma clear. Oh, thank God. You're gonna be just fine. I'll take that. Whatever that was. Three dollars. Dear goodness. All right. Here we go. It's showtime. Whoa, whoa! Deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. <laughs> Make a run for it when it's clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Yeah, I believe it. I don't think I Looks have... Looks like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. I don't think I have the ability to, uh... When I'm in, in, in uh... In Dead Eye to... To like pin the targets. I don't think it's been upgraded yet or has it. But we can't get out through there. Through the front door. <laughs> Yo, the running animation is it's pretty good. But it's also kind of funny. You boys all right? to the south but then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs i thought you were supposed to protect us marshal you folk ain't men you ain't nothing you're just a man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives yeah what is wrong with this country not up men 
The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets $50. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives. People's homes! Let's go! Get on your horse, boy! Hurry, boys! Let's get after him! Alright, let's go kill that yeah. son of a bitch. Fifty dollars! Do you think they might be headed for Fort Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe! All oh, this sure looks like their handiwork. Make sense if they cut this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me. Wait, who's that up there? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you. But I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, wow. take cover! In that shed! So cool. Stay in here. This is the best cover we got. That's too damn close. Fire. This ain't looking good. Enough of that. They ain't gonna retreat. Try, right, baby. I know. That's all you boys got. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Goddamn rapist! Now that's fucked up. How could you, Bill? After everything we've been through. Ain't no need to die, Roger. There's more coming. Look out! Here comes some more of them bastards. If I can manage to take them off from back here, that'd be great. Yeah, you see, I can't, I, I can't pin him yet. What now? We got two left. Bam! Got his little ass. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> This something makes you still breathing. Come here, boy. Come on, Bessie. Give. Oh, Bessie. Norman Deke. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck you. Hog time. Let's get him to jail. All right, hog time. I kill him like last time. Thankfully, that's not my choice. But I think there was a chest here. I could be wrong. Was there a chest here? No, there was not. Yeah, I, I was wrong. There are a couple of bodies, which is perhaps maybe just as equivalent to a chest. I will loot the bodies. And there's also ammo. That's always nice. Or horse. And it's skin horse. Come on. Let's get this over with. Oh god. Damn it, John. Oh disgusting. Horse hide. Plus one. 
Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. All right, back at Armadillo. Got another stranger mission right here in the uh, the sheriff's office. We're gonna go to Dickens, but hold on. I want to know what the hell's going on here. You okay, lady? My husband's missing. These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. <laughs> and he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Hmm. Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> got much money and I'm with the family wagon. As I said, I'll do what I can. Well wow. right, so back to the same place. Hanging rock. Let's go back to hanging rock. Handle our business. Oh he's alive. Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, I think he's a fake. Is he, is he faking it? That's the uh, silent and bring him back to the injured man. Come on. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I think there was something off here, if I remember correctly. Gonna hog tie him. Bring his this little ass up. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Don't take me back to that man. Yeah, I think I did this. Uh, I don't remember. Please. Let's see. Uh, I'll do anything. You get the smelly in. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, does he kill him? Man, I'm seems so familiar. Let me talk to him first. Hmm. Hey, 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 hey. Relax. I don't know, man. I don't trust this dude. Bring him here. Oh my good oh. lord! Please get that man away from me. Uh, uh. Hey, fella. Uh. <laughs> you broke this oh, no. poor fool's oh. leg, Mister. Uh, this maniac tried to eat me. We've got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh. <laughs> Save me from this freak, please. Please. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I was able to cock time. You can either leave the man. Good deeds, large one. Okay, I'm gonna cut him free. I guess I didn't kill you after all. Wow, dude. Significant deeds, good or bad, to gain you fame and authority and will change the population of Lama's behavior towards you. Come on, you mother trucker. We're gonna go take you to jail, punk ass. New weapon is available in the local gunsmith. Spend your hard earned dollars on increasing firepower.
Don't annoy me. Freaking cannibal. Disgusting prick. I don't want to hear a word from your mouth. I'll punch the living spit out of you. Uh. Hold on. Wait. God. Oh, this the sheriff wants to talk to me. Oh damn. Give me a second there, partner. Can I put this man in jail? the victim I don't know if I could take him to jail I guess that's good enough <laughs> uh, am I doing that right I'm trying to find the, the woman that was here at least hey, you weren't here before were you Whatever. I, I'm just gonna leave him here. I'm gonna probably kill them, but not so fast, partner. I'm a good person. I'm not a bad person. All right, here we go. You should not give false testimony except for profit. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But hmm. then... They would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. <laughs> oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Ah, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. Um, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, John, let us make haste for Ridgewood Farm. Isn't that where we were earlier? It was, right? We shot all those guys down. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Good week in the week. Gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with the collar. Stay on the road! You're going to destroy the merchandise! I didn't see that big-ass rock. I blessed with the gift of language. Oh my god. And for that, I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine metal with which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use 
your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll that. I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Bridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, <laughs> saunter nonchalantly into the what crowd. What a con artist, dude. Form. Eventually, we'll call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the king. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. What a guy. See you shortly, and remember, showmanship. Go to West Dickens' show. Uh, so we just gotta get there. If I call my horse, will it come? No. Oh, it does come. Oh, shit. Alright. That's a nice horse right there. That brown one. Really nice. Easy. Welcome. Welcome all. You will not regret it. <laughs> Friends. Hard-working souls of uh, Chola Springs, uh, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, lumbago acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and mm. ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by take a drink right now you sir come up here step right up <laughs> that's the spirit ladies and gentlemen pay close attention this poor wretched volunteer entirely unknown to me <laughs> will demonstrate the effects of dr west dickens own patent tonic be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. All right, so hold LT to draw your weapon. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make mm. that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eye's so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people. You ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Uh oh. Steady yourself, stranger. You can now shoot the hat from the sky toward his throne. Don't forget to draw your weapon, sir. You're more cooking. Such an eye. Behold the power of the elixir. What out of the sky? Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They don't work like that around right here, mister. Come on! Are you a man or 
not. A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Look at him. The tonic yeah. is coursing through his veins. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Defeat a healer in a fight. Okay. When prone to press trying to target your opponent. Uh, punch combos can be followed up with a ground tackle. How do I block again? You're going down. Once your opponent is ground attack, you can repeatedly punch him with arts. Okay. Oh! Uh, that's it. I've had enough of your ass, Mr. Aquila. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Knock his ass out. Skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get him. Hey, isn't that the isn't that the cannibal? Watch out! He's got a gun. Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Oh. Off his hand. You broke the law. What are you talking about? He shot the gun off his hand. Marvelous shot, dear boy. Okay. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded <laughs> by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. This guy, dude. Get out of my way. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I, I want a bottle. Get me a bottle, please. One of them right here. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be mm -hmm. like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's a most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Hmm. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn. Uh. All right. Well, next up is Seth. That's that's one hell of a character. All righty. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're going to die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a-calling. But nobody made my path but me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. The past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. We're not going to be able to hear each other in this rain. Just make sure you don't lose sight of me. Easy now. Okay. Easy. The 
Okay, I gotta go to Bonnie over there. Drive them over to the pasture by the old oak tree. We'll merge them with the other herd there. Fucking oh, hell. Right, I think this is, uh... I think one of them gets left behind or something. We need to be quick. Oh. No, 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 no. Go back, go back to where you belong, you stinking cow. Whoa. Don't play any games with me. I 
think it's impossible to save all 21 of them. I don't know if if anybody's ever done that. Maybe it's not impossible. Who knows? You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Mr. Farmer. It's funny how all of this is like training for John Marsh's future, you know, like when he's got his ranch going and all that stuff. And he had some ranch experiences in Red Dead Redemption 2 towards the end in the epilogue, if you guys remember. Come on! Alright. I'll tell you what. I think Hello? this is a good spot to end it. Just gonna go here inside the stable and just relax for a little bit. I'm kind of tired of getting wet. So, uh, yeah. That concludes this video episode of Red Dead Redemption Thank you guys for watching. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, everything we talked about in the intro, when John Mar John Marson starts talking about his past and his friends, it, everything just clicks really nicely, especially if you've played RDR2. And that's mainly the reason why I've decided to try and, and continue this, you know, and play Red Dead Redemption in 2022. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys again. And hopefully I will catch you on the next one.